Today I'll be sharing with you how to create this easy mixed media card. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Creative Coloring with Iram. Today I'm sharing a very, very easy card. Looks gorgeous too and is super sparkly. Also, it is a mixed media card that involves a little bit of embossing paste. For my project today, I will be using the Quaint Blooms stem set and the Alcohol Inks background paper pack. It has some lovely backgrounds in here. If you have not checked out my blog post, I have shared three more examples using the same combination of products on my blog too that I shared on the release day. I will first apply the anti-static powder onto my pattern paper. Then I will move my stamp around the paper to where I will find the best blue-green color. By the way, any way you stamp, the result will be gorgeous. But for my card, I'm trying to keep the tones of a blue-green, like the teal color. Then I will apply embossing ink and stamp the image onto the paper. And cover it with rose gold embossing powder and heat set. As you can see, I did emboss a lot of images and created all those cards that I shared with you and then some. But for now, I'm going to focus on one. I will use the fine tool stencil. And I have the embossing paste here with me. Then I will place the stencil on A2 watercolor cardstock and apply the embossing paste through the stencil in a way that it would show slightly from some of the sides, especially the top and the bottom when I place the floral element. The coverage doesn't need to be perfect, the embossing paste just needs to be on there. Once done, you can either leave it to air dry if you uh, like your embossing paste to look smooth. Or you can use your heat uh, tool to dry the paste or at least uh, speed up the drying process. But uh, just remember that this will result in the embossing paste to bubble. I don't mind it. I actually love the effect of uh, the bubbled embossing paste. Once the embossing paste is dry, I start adding water and then applying pigment. The pigment will spread to wherever the water is. I usually start light and then gradually build up the layers of a watercolor. You can even dry between layers as you build up layers. Each time I do something like this, I work on it differently depending how uh, the paint is reacting or how it is flowing and what needs to be done at that time. Right now, it doesn't seem that I need to dry the paint. So I just kept on going. Once I'm happy with the concentration of the pigment I have added, I will then use the gold from the metallic watercolor 14 pan set and uh, add that to the wet panel. The wet panel will help the gold pigment flow through the embossed areas and create a gorgeous effect. Now it is up to you how to add the paint. You can add this by directly applying it with a paintbrush or as splatters. Let me show you up close how this looks. The result is subtle but so gorgeous. It looks kind of yellow from afar but it is actually gold and it is shiny, shimmery. It's beautiful. I would call this a mixed media card on a cleaner side. The shine is so very visible, so beautiful. You have to try this to uh, see the beauty in person. Now I'm using the You Are Everything stamp and die set. I will stamp and heat emboss the big You Are on a piece of vellum. At first I thought I would use the entire thing, but then I decided to use just the U. So I die cut the UR because it's a full die, it will die the entire thing. Then I also die cut this out of a double sided adhesive and I will adhere these two together. You can do this before uh, die cutting the heat embossed U by first sticking the vellum onto the double sided adhesive and then die cutting the word. It is a much easier task. Next, I will add black paint splatters. The pan in my hand is from the Sensual Watercolor 12 pan set. Then I will adhere the image with instant dimension foam tape. 
I have an extra smaller sized flower here that I will be adhering over the image to add a bit of layering and interest. Next I will adhere my heat embossed U. Next I will adhere a ton of sequins. Uh, if you see this image closely, the stamp, there are small circular designs on the flower. I will add sequins on those areas as well. So this will become super blingy. Then I will add another sentiment to go with the U. And that's it. An easy super blingy mixed media card is ready. Even if you don't try the mixed media look, you can just add the gold color with the plain watercolor to see how it looks, how the pigment flows. And I'm pretty sure you will create a magical background. I hope you liked the tutorial and will give this a try. Don't forget to tag me if you do. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hello there. Did that video just spark your creativity? And do you want more project ideas and inspiration videos too? Well, if you do, please make sure that you subscribe to the Alt New YouTube channel. Also, make sure that you do click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.